Hello, I'm Jashikins with another random rant, and this time I'm getting a little more political than I tend to get, but this is something that's sort of been bugging me, and I need to at least make a little vlog about it. I may might do something longer in the future. I I don't know. But anyways, it's the term sincerely held belief. Now, on its own, it just seems to be perfectly innocent, doesn't mean to harm anyone. It's like, I have a sincerely held belief that birds are fucking awesome except for crows because fuck crows. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. You, you have to have standards. Have to really have standards. And so sincerely held beliefs doesn't necessarily seem like it should be a bad thing. However, I live in the United States and uh, some things have been happening where the term sincerely held belief, also religious beliefs, uh, only really refer to Christianity of a certain type. Now, Christianity has many denominations and like it's, <laughs> I mean, I can't say I hate Christians because there's just such a complexity to the different beliefs and everything about them. So I'm just gonna say Christianity of a certain beliefs of saying, oh, Gay should marry, uh, <laughs> and you know that that sort of that camp that camp of fuck them gays, fuck the LGBTQ plus community. The oh I'm not homophobic, I just want gays to say the fuck away from me. And it stared back. And so, yeah. I mean, if, listen, if you don't like them gays or whatever, that is entirely up to you. And you shouldn't be put into any situations that make you uncomfortable with. I mean, of course, life always throws curveballs at everyone. So we're all always going to be in situations that we want to react differently but we can't do to you know basic politeness I'm just uh, getting these these fucking these states uh, mixed up North Carolina Mississippi it's basically, they're getting on this nice, lovely, lovely bandwagon of, if I don't agree with them, I can just say, hey, you can't, you know, shop here, or I can't do, or you can't do this or that, because my sincerely held beliefs is that you shouldn't be able to, to be able to do those things, because my sincerely held beliefs makes me very uncomfortable with your presence. The thing with rights is that your rights end where another's begin. People like to bring up uh, freedom of speech and freedom of religion and say, Listen, folks, I can do this because freedom of speech, or blah, 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 freedom of religion. Not seem to really realize what the fuck those actually mean. It's... The government can't say, can't stop you from doing those. So, yes, you can have religious freedom and deciding to worship how you please as long as it doesn't cause harm to anyone else. But it doesn't make this fucking country into a theocracy. And yes, sincerely held beliefs also 
my religious beliefs, religious freedom. And the thing is, the 99.9% .9 of the time when someone brings up religious freedom, they're going to be bringing up Christianity and wanting to put laws into place that protects their version of Christianity. And again, Christianity has all these denominations, which, you know, I could never, it would take a couple of videos to get into, so I'm not going to bother, but that's why I say a specific type of Christianity, because there are a shitload of them. Oh, God. And so it's always this specific type of religious freedom that's being talked about. They don't really, really fucking care about, you know, Islam, Buddhism. It's, it's fucking Christianity. That specific type of Christianity. And I'm really afraid this is going to get worse because the South has been allowing more and more anti-LGBTQ plus laws, and that's, I don't know, it's like, I, I don't want this to get fucking worse. Uh, <laughs> I mean, same-sex marriage got approved, and now there's even just, there's bullshit about people not accepting that fact. And, you know, just, God, fucking just going along the wrong way. And now we're getting even more and more of, you know, now that marriage, same-sex marriage is out of the way, we're getting to see really fucking ugly stuff, it seems. And, I mean, companies are pulling out of certain states. Uh, I think a porn site is not allowing users to access it from a certain state, so. I'm actually having sort of hope in the porn thing because, uh, let's all admit it, the majority of things can get a lot faster once the porn's life is at stake. It, it's not pretty, I wish it wasn't true, but there we go. A fact of life, the porn holds the key. But, yeah, what if it gets worse? Uh, I don't think another civil war is going to happen. I mean, I'm not going, like, that crazy, but it's just, it will probably be really fucking rough for a while before it gets better. Any, any change of the status quo doesn't always, you know, go down gently. Sadly, it, it doesn't. Some people will always hold on to their beliefs no matter what. And again, if you want to hate them gays, feel free to. I'm just saying that you, your sincerely held beliefs shouldn't stop someone else's rights. I mean, I fucking hate Tic Tacs. Uh, they gross me out for some reason. I just, I can't even look at it or watch a commercial for some fucking reason. Uh, I don't like people chewing bubblegum, but it's like, I'm not going to try to stop bubblegum or Tic Tacs from being used. I mean, my fiance, Rev Resner, eats Tic Tacs. And so I'm just, I always look away and, you know, try to control my disgust. <laughs> so yeah, just, again... You can have your sincerely held beliefs, but don't, don't make it so that it interferes with another person's life and makes them really a second-class citizen. However, if you fucking do, don't you fucking dare make it, make it so that counselors can refuse to accept people from the LGBTQ plus community because for all this bullshit that's going on, they're going to need a fucking person to listen and comfort them so they don't fucking commit suicide. You assholes, Anna. I don't know what this fucking motion was, but that's really why I keep into talking about entertainment. <laughs>
so I can stay happy and not feel dead inside about the world. And, um, uh, until, fuck, god damn it. <laughs> and, like, now I'm just like, okay, what's the usual way to do things? Oh, oh yeah, that, not that way. <laughs> Anyways, I have been Josh Rikens, owner at joshrikens.blogspot.com. If you go to my blog, you can see vlogs like this one, and most of them not on such a serious subject, usually entertainment shit, so I was like, ah. And let's see. Uh, I still have my The Walking Dead posts coming out, one on Rick Grimes and one on Carolyn Morgan, both dealing with the season six the Walking Dead finale, so that'll be awesome. It's still on the way. I'm really sorry my phone decided to jump in there because it's like, hey, you're doing something. Let me join, please. My phone is an asshole. God damn it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> and on my bloggy blog on the sidebar thing you can name a dragon vote in a poll about the season six finale of the walking dead and the links i'm going to mention will be in the description if you're watching on my bloggy blog and on the sidebar thingy if you're watching on, no on the description if you're watching on the youtube's on the sidebar thing of my bloggy blog if you're watching on my bloggy blog <laughs> words things God damn it, this is what happens when I record vlogs after 3 a.m. <laughs> Anyways, the links. Uh, I'm writing a web series called Chronicles of Gaia. And the chapter 2 has recently been released. The behind the scenes will of chapter 2 will be released in a day or so. Uh, but... The behind the scenes to things is for my patrons of my Patreon. Also, if you donate to my Patreon, you can view chapters before they're fully posted to my blog. What happens is once I get a chapter finished, I'll put it up and it'll only be a little blurb and then I'll have a release date. And if you donate to my Patreon, you can you it right then and there, not have to wait. Also, donating to my Patreon, you can get, you know, behind the scenes things as well as bonus chapters. And if you want to donate to my Patreon but don't care about Chronicles of Gaia, every now and again I'll make Patreon exclusive reviews every now and again. I have one dollar a month you get updates on my upcoming ebooks five dollars a month you get a 30 minute exclusive vlog featuring me and for uh, once I reach five dollars a month I will make a post about me being other kin and it's something personal so it's just <laughs> So, you know, I don't really like to talk about it, but so it's a reward for all the money you give me. <laughs> and I do writing commissions via Fiverr. I have a cafe press shop where I release new designs once a week and I sometimes expand on existing designs and words will come out of my mouth in a moment. And I wasn't able to do a, a design for this week because I just didn't have the time. I was, like, leaving when I would be working on it. So, until next video, goodbye.